Hey guys, here's a little dresser that I picked up. Well, Honey picked it up. Um, I went with him. And we, oh, there's coughing in the background, but it's safe, don't worry, to watch this video. Um, we both early morning cough, it's just what we do, because we're old. Anyway, this little white um, dresser we picked up for 20 bucks. They actually gave us a mirror to go with it. It doesn't go together. It hangs separately on the wall. I don't know if I'm going to make it work together with this, but um, I just wanted to show you. I took all the drawers out because the sides of the drawers, for some reason, are painted green. So I'm going to have to sand those, but right now I'm going to paint this <clears throat> with Debbie's Design Diary DIY Paint Little Black Dress. And then... I'm going to decoupage this beautiful poster of Miss Marilyn Monroe on the front of the drawers. So stay tuned and we'll do it together. Drawers look like. It's like, who would paint this dresser and just leave it like that? And unfortunately, there's, yeah, I may end up having to paint the inside of these drawers. What a mess. But, I mean, ah! All right, here I go. And it's pretty brisk out here. And I have short sleeves on. But, I have a beautiful view of the lake and the mountains. And here I go. I got the base painted. I got the drawers sanded and painted. The drawers were a disaster. A disaster. I had to sand them so much and so hard that they had to go back to the uh, repair <laughs> repair department. So I'm going to take this product. It's called Dixie Belle Gator Hide, and I'm going to paint a a nice layer of this across the tops of these drawers and then I'm going to let them sit overnight so that I can uh, apply my Marilyn Monroe poster to them. Um, the tutorial that I had watched on this said that uh, you could do this with one coat or you know, you could do it with two coats. I'm just gonna make sure I have a substantially nice layer on there, and I'm just gonna go with one coat. This product is um, pretty thin, uh, but you can get a nice layer. I, I did another um, project the other day and I tried to do a tutorial on it and I accidentally deleted one of the clips and I did it with one coat. So I'm comfortable that um, that will be fine. So I'm not gonna go around the edges because I just want my poster flat along the top. And I am not going to have you watch me paint this on um, all three drawers. I just want to show you this one drawer. There you go. And I'll be back tomorrow. The next day. And I decided uh, to cut Marilyn out and not adhere her as a solid piece. So... The reason that I did that was because if I had put the poster on, like her nose would have come right here in between the the break in the, the dresser drawers. So I wanted her whole face to be on one drawer. So I decided the best option was to cut part of the top of her head off. That sounds terrible. <laughs> but anyway, um... Yeah, so that's what I'm doing, and 
I'm going to do it like this. I cut out her signature so I can still put that on there, but I'm gonna do that separately. And you guys know I got my adhesion on there last night. It dried overnight. It doesn't have to dry overnight. Um, but I opted to do it that way, but it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to um, dry overnight. It'll dry in a couple of hours. So I want to get my next piece and line it up. It's very hard because all of these, you know, this was a poster. It was rolled up for a really long time. But I want to make sure she's as centered as I can get her. And I cut it as close as I could to meeting the drawer pieces um, with cutting out the gap. So I removed the gap. I didn't just cut it and then stick her directly on there. I had to cut this much, like three quarters of an inch of this poster, I had to cut it out so it didn't look weird because that would have looked really, really weird. Okay. So, I'll be honest with you, this part of it is quite tedious. Okay, so this is actually the piece that I need to center and then go up from there. So I'm glad I did that because now I have to bring her over to about right here so you can see that that will line up. All right. Now I'm going to take my parchment paper. Do not use wax paper, parchment paper. And I'm going to Make sure she doesn't shift. I've got my iron. I actually had it at the highest heat to warm it up. Um, just a traditional iron. Make sure you do not have it on the steam setting. I think I, oh, I, think I am going to just double check and make sure she doesn't shift. She looks okay. Because once you do this, once you apply the heat, that's it. Because what's happening is the heat is reactivating that layer of adhesion and adhering the photo, poster, paper, fabric um, to the project. So, ouch. So now that I've kind of got her kind of stuck on there, now I can start doing this, which I didn't want to do initially because I didn't want her to shift. So that's why I did the, the slow um, going across there because 
I didn't want her to shift. So you want to be sure you get a really nice, good adhesion. You just don't want to leave it on there too long so that, you know, it burns your image. Okay, she's on there. Um, I'm gonna have to cut a little bit off the top right here, but right now I'm not gonna worry with that too much. So, Honestly, when I measured, this drawer was not even with this drawer. So it's not going to be exactly centered. Oops, I got to move my iron. Here come the dogs. But it is what it is. And I don't think somebody's going to be like, oh, I'm not going to buy that because it's not. No, it's not centered. So here we go. I can see through here that she didn't shift, so that's good. If you can hear a weird noise, it's my dog drinking water. And I'm afraid my dog's gonna, my big dog's gonna bark any second, so. I think you get the gist of what's going on here, and I will come back. I'm going to go ahead and finish putting her on, but I will come back when I do her signature, and we'll do one more together. I am super happy. Um, I did cut that off a little bit short because before I hadn't planned to cut her head off, and the poster came down lower, and blah, blah, blah but I still think it looks really good. And it's gonna, it's gonna still be fabulous. So, um, I did decide what I'm gonna do with her name, is I'm gonna put it right here, below the, where the knob goes. Oh, look at that. So while I'm making sure that this adheres, I'm going to need to make sure that that adheres. So there's my wax paper, or not, ah, uh, not my wax paper, <laughs> my uh, parchment paper. So you can see that there, you know, it, it's not absolute perfection. Um, there's mistakes, hopefully, that you can learn from while you're watching me. And hopefully you can watch some others as well because this is only the second time I've um, adhered a poster. I've done quite a bit of tissue paper and um, wrapping paper with this method, but this is only my second poster. And we are not yet close to done because what I will need to do after this is apply another layer of the, uh, the top coat product um, I'll show it to you again before I start applying. Um, it's made by Dixie Bell. 
I think it's called Gator Hide. Anyway, we'll have to put another coat of that on, let it dry, and then do the ironing one more time. And the scary thing about that top coat um, over the poster is it will start to wrinkle and bubble the image, and that's scary. I remember when I was doing the Titanic poster, Honey was like, oh no, it's ruined. And I was like, nope, once I iron it again, it'll settle all that stuff down, and there'll be a little bit um, you know, you'll be able to see a little bit of wrinkling, but it's very minor. And also, since I did um, opt to cut Marilyn out, and you can see the shiny top coat on here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that top coat on the entire uh, piece so that it all matches. I'm a little disappointed because I didn't plan to use the same um, knobs. And you can see where the knobs were, but yeah, it is what it is. You live and you learn. Okay, so you got this to go down. The, the signature is down good, and I'll be back when I have all my equipment to put my top coat on. Here's the, the product again. I don't work for this company at all. I just saw a video on the product and how it could be used this way and I ordered it. So just like we did last night, we're gonna do another layer on top and we want to get you know a good amount on there just like we did last night so that when we iron it again it completely seals that poster and even if somebody spills water down the front of this dresser it won't won't harm the image it, as I said, is a little bit stressful when things start to wrinkle because you're getting it wet, okay, with the product. So it's paper. It's going to want to wrinkle and do what paper does when you, you wet it. But once this dries, then you can just iron those iron those out. And I'm having a little issue right here. And I'm starting to see the, the bubbles and wrinkles. Come on, Marilyn, help me out here. So for those of you who are watching this way down the road, years from when I'm doing it, um, we're under a stay-at-home order during the COVID-19 pandemic. And this is how I am staying busy and productive. However, it's gonna snow today, so later on I'm gonna stay busy and productive watching movies with my husband. And he did correct me when I turned the camera off earlier that he did not say, oh no, it's ruined. <laughs> he did not say that. Um, he just came and looked at it like, ugh, you really screwed this one up. <laughs> and I let him know that once I ironed it again, it would be fine. So I just had to clarify that because I wouldn't want you guys to think that he said, ew, it's ruined. Because he doesn't talk like that. 
but I don't know if you can see. I'll bring the camera off the tripod in a second and see if you can see the wrinkling. There's actually a little bit of lifting on the corners of the poster, which I didn't get on the Titanic poster, but the Titanic poster went all the way to the edge of the dresser drawer. This one's definitely um, bubbling more. And I wonder if it's because I cut it out too. But anyway, I'm gonna try not to stress over it. It actually makes me wanna put more product on it so that when I do iron it again, I've got plenty of adhesion. Funny thing is, is her signature's not having a problem at all. It's not wrinkling at all. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what do I do with this? I don't have any place to set it. Okay. Because I want to take you off the tripod and show you. So hopefully you can see the bubbling and I'll be back in a couple hours because I want to get this dresser finished up today. This is the, let's see, the sixth, sixth full day um, and I think I've managed to get one two, three, four, five projects done. So there we go. Hopefully we'll get this one done today and we can chalk it up to another one bites the dust. All right. So I went ahead and did the top two drawers so you can kind of get the visual there. Here is the third drawer. And you can, you can see all that bubbling. So, I'm going to put my, uh, oh, what is this called? Parchment paper. And then I'm going to use my iron and iron it again. bubbles subside. I won't make them completely go away. And I'll be honest, I turned my iron all the way to high to get it hot faster and I forgot to turn it back down and I did a little damage to Marilyn's face, which was a bummer. But it adds to the distress, and I, I still think it looks fine. It actually just makes the photo of her look aged, and um, I think it's fine. But I'm learning. I'm definitely learning along with you guys. I um, actually want to do several more dressers like this. I want to do a Wizard of Oz and a Gone with the Wind and a Dirty Dancing. So I wanted to get this Marilyn done first. Um, finding dressers that are like kind of petite like this to fit a poster and and I want an inexpensive dresser so you can still see that there's some some bubbling on this uh, I can see it but it really minimalizes it so 
got a little issue right here where this is lifting a little bit. So I'm going to do this some more. But anyway, um, I definitely uh, want to do some more dressers like this. I, I'm still searching Marketplace every day. Um, this dresser we got for $20. So if I can pick them up for that kind of price, I will go ahead and, and do that and um, order the posters. So with the dresser of $20 and the poster was about $10 with shipping. So we're up to 30. And I'd say in materials, I probably used 10. So we're up to 40. So I have $40 invested in the drawer or, or the dresser and I sold the Titanic dresser for $195. So um, I won't be selling this in the antique mall, I'll be putting it on marketplace. There we go. I'll be putting it on marketplace, so I would probably sell it for cheaper. Um, I'll probably sell it for oh goodness, I'm forgetting the knobs that I'm going to put on this. I'm going to put crystal knobs on here that I ordered from Amazon. So that's going to bring it up to about $50 invested. So I'll probably sell it for $175. Um, I already had somebody that's contacted me for that piece over there. I've ha actually had several people that have contacted me for that piece. And I marked it 145. And if we had put it in the booth, I would have marked it 175. So I already feel like I have it marked down. And I'm just telling people, you know, I've had it listed for a day and I've had like six people contact me about it. So no, I'm not ready to mark it down. But anyway, I'll do a final when we get the crystal knobs on this dresser. And then we'll be all done. I hope that this was helpful to you guys. You can get the product really easily. It's, it's accessible, super easy, the Dixie Bell products in so many places. So check it out and um, give this a shot. It's a fun thing to do right now while I'm here at the house. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that again. I'll be back with the finished dresser. This is the finished Marilyn. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh my gosh, so love. And everything turned out really good. I pulled these um, uh, gems from my crafty stash and E6000 them to the front of all the knobs. So there you go. I hope you guys will give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out a ton. And if you leave a comment, that all also helps a ton. So I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And thanks for taking the journey to Miss Marilyn Monroe with me. All right. Keep watching out for a Wizard of Oz, a um, Dirty Dancing. Um, I've got a number of, of posters ordered and we'll be doing more dressers. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.